Hi. So I'm gonna do a cooking lesson for you guys and we will be using measuring utensils. And I'm going to show you what happens if you don't have a certain kind of measuring cup and what we can do to fix that. So making banana bread, and this is what color my bananas were. And I'm not gonna eat a banana that looks like that. So I've got it right here. We're mixing it all up, getting it nice and happy. Okay, the oven is set at 350. And for this recipe, it is gluten-free, so I'm going to be using almond flour and coconut flakes. Um, you can add chocolate chips and other things to it as well. So I'm putting my wet ingredients in first. All right, so I've got four bananas, and I'm going to put in six eggs. All righty. So I've got to move quick because I'm filming. My daughter's filming. Two three, four, five, and six eggs. Your lucky day, I you live. <laughs> I'm gonna blend that up real quick. You can do this by hand, kiddos. It's, it's more fun, actually. But I'm trying to be fast for you. Okay? All right, so there's my wet ingredients. Now this calls for a quarter cup of honey. Luckily, I have my fourth cup right here. So I'm just gonna get my fourth cup of honey out. All right, look at all that happiness. Happy sauce, happy sauce. All right. Oh, that would be Ori at the gate. Okay, She's there's my fourth you. cup. Oh, somebody knocked the gate down. And then I also need a half a cup of coconut oil. Now here's where I said, I don't have a half cup. My kids have lost it. I don't know where it is. The good thing is that I can take my fourth cup and I can do it twice. One fourth and one fourth, that's going to give me half cup. So I just lucked out. And you know what, there's a tiny bit of butter left in there. I mixed a little butter with my coconut oil. Happiness. If you don't have fourth, you can use six, eight, any yep. even number and just split it in half. Exactly. You keep going. And then on top of this, I need two tablespoons of vanilla. So one. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Two. All right. Those are, I believe, all of my wet ingredients. Coconut oil, honey, oil, baking right. soda, sea salt, dark chocolate. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's All it. All right, let's mix that up real quick. And it's happy. So let's go ahead and do our dry ingredients. Now this calls for four cups of almond flour. There's two ways I can do that. I have here a third of a cup, one over three, okay? If I do three of these, it makes one cup. Three of these. So I'll do that first, one, two, and there's my first cup, okay? That is the same thing as, watch what you're doing please, this. And it says I need four cups. This is a lot, I think I needed a bigger bowl, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Four. That's and then a, a weird ingredient. Yum. Two cups, you know what, I do need a bigger bowl, of coconut flakes. Bringing in the wood Miss bowl. Miss S needs a bigger bowl. Bringing it in. I've never bigger. heard of a banana bread recipe calling for coconut. coconut flakes, but I'm doing it. Sounds delicious. I love this recipe. One. Woo! Two. Can I have this for breakfast? Okay. Just mix that up. And then I need, for my dry ingredients, two teaspoons of baking soda. Well, again, I don't have a teaspoon. I have a half teaspoon. So I'm going to do two. That equals one teaspoon. Two more. And there's my second. Okay? And that's actually, I'm sorry, that is my baking powder. And then I need a teaspoon of baking soda. See, I thought I had everything ready. I know I have it opposite, but that's all right. Same thing. Okay. 
So I'm just gonna give that a little quick stir. And then we will mix this. I don't put the sea salt because I used butter. We'll mix this in here. Go over here. loves walnuts so his is going to have walnuts in it and then my kids will have chocolate chips in theirs let me get all the eggs out of there already spray it out to our if I can find my spray I don't think we have any no I just bought spray oh I don't know where it went though Back up. So this is what it looks like. So I'm going to put half of it in this one. All right, and this one I'm going to put almonds all over the top. For walnuts. The walnuts all over the top for the husband. And then this pan, you're too close. Yes, there you go. I'm gonna mix a little bit of sugar-free. Oh no, this, these aren't sugar-free. I'm gonna mix a little bit of chocolate chips for them. Completely optional. And I lined this with parchment paper because this pan is not really good with sticky Ness. stuff. Yeah, even if I spray it or grease it, it's just not, it doesn't behave. Oops. All right, guys, and it's gonna go in the oven 350 for about an hour. 45 minutes to an hour, That's you've really got to just watch it. You want it to be nice and brown, and delicious, and then serve it up with uh, butter. All right, enjoy. I hope you make it. If you do make this, um, post a video or pictures of it. Okay, see you guys.